In a significant technological development, Taiwan recently unveiled the torpedo launch tube of its domestically developed Huilong Unmanned Underwater Vehicle, UUV. This disclosure, which followed earlier images of the vehicle's rear propeller, has captured regional attention. However, Taiwan's defense minister recently clarified that the Huilong UUV serves primarily as a testing platform for sonar and underwater mine systems and does not possess an active propulsion system. As a result, during sea trials, the UUV is towed by support vessels rather than maneuvering independently. The Huilong project is a collaborative venture between Taiwan's National Chungshan Institute of Science and Technology and Lungtei Shipbuilding. Launched in 2020, the initiative aims to develop a versatile unmanned underwater platform capable of supporting Taiwan's underwater defense infrastructure. The Huilong UUV displaces nearly 100 tons and measures approximately 30 meters in length, 3.6 meters in width, and 6 meters in height, including its command tower casing. Resembling a compact submarine, this UUV is equipped with dual torpedo tubes and is designed to deploy smaller unmanned vehicles for surveillance, target acquisition, and strike operations. One of the Huilong's primary functions lies in its potential to bolster Taiwan's underwater monitoring capabilities. Outfitted with advanced sonar technology, the UUV can track and monitor adversary submarines and vessels within Taiwan's territorial waters. This ability to identify and track hostile forces, such as Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy planned submarines, enhances Taiwan's real-time situational awareness, which is essential for maintaining information superiority in any potential conflict. Taiwan's submarine fleet is relatively limited in size, leaving it vulnerable in a large-scale conflict scenario. Integrating unmanned systems like the Huilong into its operations could provide a critical advantage. When deployed alongside manned submarines, these UUVs could undertake high-risk reconnaissance and even offensive missions. This would allow Taiwan's manned vessels to operate with reduced exposure to hostile forces, leveraging UUVs as force multipliers that extend the operational reach and resilience of the entire fleet. In the face of a larger adversary, such as China, Taiwan's defense strategy may hinge on asymmetric tactics to compensate for its relatively smaller forces. UUVs like the Huilong present a cost-effective solution for Taiwan, capable of executing a range of tactical operations, from intelligence gathering to direct strikes against high-value assets, such as aircraft carriers and amphibious assault ships. The deployment of UUVs could play a crucial role in a strategy that prioritizes agile and covert actions over large-scale confrontations, potentially neutralizing or delaying a more powerful adversary's advances. The Huilong UUV represents a bold step in Taiwan's quest for an advanced multifaceted defense capability in its surrounding waters. While primarily intended as a testing platform, its ability to enhance underwater monitoring, perform covert reconnaissance, and complement Taiwan's submarine fleet demonstrates its potential as a vital asset in the nation's defense strategy. Through platforms like the Huilong, Taiwan not only strengthens its underwater surveillance capabilities, but also bolsters its readiness to confront threats with innovative, asymmetric approaches that maximize the utility of both manned and unmanned resources.